you know, the, the awards here are a very uh, high standard. Um, you put your work against uh, work of uh, enormous quality. Uh, so, so actually to be awarded is a, is a great honour. It feels very good. And I think um, just sitting through all the presentations from all the projects submitted from all around the world and to, um, to actually win the category, it's, it's really, really satisfying. I think it's um, because it's a wonderful event to be a part of. I think that uh, it provides a wonderful opportunity to look at work around the world, to compare your work with others, to engage in a dialogue. And of, of course, you know, it's competitive and, we're, and everybody wants to win, but um, you know, it's the participation also has great value in itself. I think the impact of these things is a very difficult thing to assess and to answer. You know, it's uh, it's um, it's it's very hard to say it's due to this or to due to that. You know, we uh, the building we entered last year was a great honour to, to to win the category. That was the office category, and uh, and of course that brings with it a, a, a attention and so on. And and uh, this is the cultural category, so this is really a great honour, and it means a great deal to us. Uh, it's, it's very good to have these achievements, the participation is very good, but ultimately you know, it can only be a good thing. Exactly what? Who knows? I think the, um, one of the things I think sure motivates both of us is that we uh, want to help promote the gallery uh, and raise its international profile. And um, as, a, as an Aucklander and a Kiwi, uh, we'd really like to see uh, you know, the gallery this really probably we believe the best building in New Zealand help raise the profile uh, of the city and, and the cultural activity in the city and the ability for the gallery to exchange exhibitions around the world and then expose more people to more cultural experiences. Uh, quite a lot of them, yeah, yeah, quite a lot of them, and uh, they were very good. <laughs> they were very good. Yeah, Richard had um, a little bit of a clash because he was uh, judging another category for part yeah. of that, but uh, I sat through every presentation, so that, that, I mean, I think it's a wonderful thing about the festival that you can come and you can uh, see architects presenting the very best projects in the world and understand the thinking behind them. Uh, and I found that very, very valuable. One of the most important things about the whole festival, actually. Well, I, th I think the project is an intensely local project and it's really beautifully uh, related to its context of the park uh, and the city edge as well. And I think, um, although it really didn't come out in the presentation, I think there's an underlying um, bicultural aspect to the project um, that really relates to uh, what is specifically local, which is the Maori culture, uh, and that's um, really embedded in the DNA of the building. And I think um, that's probably something that, although we didn't really talk about that a great deal, it shines through in the materials and the kind of metaphorical uh, ideas that are embedded in the building. Look, I think it's difficult to give advice. I think the thing that comes across from looking at the entries is their diversity, you know, and I think that that's one of the great things that the festival celebrates. And so I suppose what I would do is encourage people to, to bring out and look out what is specific, what is perhaps unique about their project and, and to not look too closely at the competition. And I think, I think a, a thing, critical, the critical dialogue thing is that you come along and maybe you don't win the first year, but you learn so much and it motivates you to take much more care and, 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 and reinvest more energy in your next project. <laughs>